Lady Charmaine, and my guest today is known as the other half of one of Bravo's most popular housewives. They recently said I do for the second time around, and he's here today to talk about their wedding special, I Dream of Nene, The Wedding. So help me welcome Mr. Greg Leakes to the show. How you doing, Greg? Hey, I'm fantastic. Hello, everybody. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. And I want to say one congratulations and that you got the woman of your dreams for the second time around. How does that feel? Oh, oh man, I, I'm, I'm one of the happiest men in the world. I mean, to get a, a second chance at Miss Nene, come on. Those guys are down to one. I get two. It's funny. I was talking to my assistant and I said, you know, I said, Greg really broke a myth. And the myth is how you cannot turn a stripper into a housewife. But see, you proved everybody wrong because you turned oh, a stripper into a successful housewife. So congratulations. Yeah, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Now, I, I want to tell the audience, I want to go back a little bit because, you know, usually, you know, you don't go to uh, places like that to look for a wife. What was it about Nene that you saw that you said, I have to make this woman my wife? Not because she was skillful in the club, but what was it about her that you really liked? Well, actually, we didn't meet at the club. Oh, you didn't? Okay. No, actually, we met through a mutual friend at a piano and cigar bar in Atlanta. Mm. That's where I first met her. Wow, okay. So when she told yeah, you... Yeah, it was some time later that she uh, took me to work with her. Right. So, so when she told you what her occupation was, were you surprised? Uh, no, with a body like that, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, uh, well, that answers uh, it all. <laughs> no, uh, and your story I, is... I was actually delighted. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, well, I, look, I'm asking a man. So no, I, 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 didn't know. Frequent, I, did, I didn't frequent a uh, um, male's club, but, you know, I have been known to go. Okay. Interesting. So and, she uh, took you to work. So, yeah, it definitely, yeah. She she would get my mortgage. So, <laughs> yeah. <you know. laughs> That's good. So after 15 years of marriage, we all know from watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta that you and Nene divorced. And I, want, I wanted to ask you, when Nene started dating on the show, were you convinced that your relationship was truly over, that you would never get her back? Oh, no. Never. Oh. Uh -huh. See, the one thing we never lost was love. Mm. And not just the word love, the true uh, essence and meaning of the word love. We never lost that. Actually, our bonds grew stronger. We missed each other. So uh, it, it was interesting, though, during that part of the Housewives show, and this is a true story, I decided I was not going to watch the show at all. Mm. And the one time I get went against my thought and watched the show, it's when she was on the show with this guy. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can you believe it? No. And when I saw him on the show, uh, and, and I did look at that particular episode reluctantly, and I saw all the things that he was doing for her, the only thing I could say, none of that's new. I did that 16, 17 years ago. So he's definitely not going to last because he's trying to come in with gifts. She, she needs love and affection, and her love is over here with me. Oh, see, see, that's the man with some strong game. So you knew what it was going to take to get her back. How did you actually win her back? Because, you know, when people go through a divorce, what was your game to get her back? Did you start going by to visit? How did you manage to do that? Well, remember, we have a child, so we're mm -hmm. forced to see each other regardless. Mm -hmm. And since our son was unfortunate enough to have to go through a divorce of his parents and to live it, we owed it to each other to be civil and human when dealing with our son. So couple that with the fact that we had this burning love for each other anyway, we just didn't, didn't I didn't channel mine properly. And it was just a matter of time I could look in my son's eye. And, and, and I've been through this once before with my other five children. I was married 19 years. I want this again. I will not be a statistic again. Not this family. Mm. No, no, this is not going to happen to us. I don't care what. So <laughs> I just put in motion some, some, I know I'm going way away from your question. No, that's great. Trying to, to take you along. I, I had a determination and a drive that I would not lose my family. It was unacceptable. Losing was not an option to me. So I developed my own personal plan of attack, 2% to the problem, 98% to the solution. Mm. I knew I had work to do, but it was like an alcoholic. You have to admit you're wrong. 
you have to be accepting of what comes with that, because there's a price to pay for your wrong. Mm. So whatever it is that she wanted to say or do to me, I had to stand there and man up and take it. Mm-hmm. That was the first step of healing. So once she was able to exhale, now I can start to build and rebuild and strengthen and fortify. And um, we just kept the ball rolling because we, we wanted each other. We're destined. She fits me. She's mine. I'm her. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love it. Preach, Greg. <laughs> I know that's right. And you that's just mentioned, and you just mentioned the family. How is the family doing now? Because we saw in the last two episodes, Dr. Jeff was there intervening with family counseling, and then uh, everyone hugged and made up. How is the family doing now? Because that was one of your goals to bring your family back together. Well, the family's doing great, <clears throat> as you saw on the episode. But trust me, that's just a snowflake in a storm. We got a lot of work to do. Okay. We still have to get to the essence of what that word means. We will be a family. When one hurts, we all going to feel the pain. Mm-hmm. We have to learn each other's children now. Likes, dislikes. We, we got a lot of work to do to really be a true family. We're going to make it. We're going to do it. I'm going to see that it's done. I know that's right, Greg. And before we go, I know, uh, I think uh, Tuesday's episode is going to be you told Nini to cancel the wedding because she wants to change wedding planners. Why did you decide to do such a drastic option to even want to go as far as canceling the wedding? It was too much on her. Uh, The unspoken word told me that my wife was under too much pressure for a wedding. It didn't make sense. The wedding really is not for us. It's for our friends. That's who we're doing the ceremony for. We're honoring them for honoring us. And so with that much stress and pressure on her, it it was not necessary. No, let's just go away and uh, cancel it and just go do something else because I don't want to see you like this. It was was too much. There was nothing I could do. Right. Well, you had a beautiful wedding. I can't wait to see it. And I want to remind everyone, Greg, to be sure and watch I Dream of Nini, the wedding, airing Tuesdays, 9, 8 Central, only on Bravo. And again, congratulations. I think you can teach these young men today uh, a thing or two about relationships and how to get your woman back and want how not to lose her because you knew you had a good thing. And I want to say thank you so much, Greg. Well, only thank you for having me. And what I'd like to lead the guys with is one simple thing. The same thing it took to get her is the same thing it takes to keep her. Now that's wisdom speaking. Thank you so much, Greg, and have a blessed day today. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. You too, bye-bye.